Okay. Ready for another social skills training class? Yeah, sure. All right. So uh, today I think we'll talk about giving gifts. Okay. So we have Mother's Day coming up, right? Right. Okay. So should you give your wife a gift on Mother's Day or not? Uh, since she's technically not my mother, no, should not get a gift. No. You should give your wife a gift on Mother's Day, even though she's technically not your mom, because she is your kid's mom. And plus, the kids are too small to climb into the car and drive to the store. And even if they got to the store, they don't have any money. So you'll also have to buy the kids some gifts so they can give those gifts to your wife. Okay. Now, after that, Father's Day is coming up. Right? Right. Okay. So, what kind of gift giving should be done on Father's Day? I should get a gift. It's Father's Day. I'm the dad. No. You should give your wife a gift on Father's Day because she gave birth to those kids. If it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be a father. Plus, one of her love languages is receiving gifts. That just doesn't seem right. I said, that just doesn't seem right. Just keep writing. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's use your wedding anniversary as an example. On your anniversary, what kind of gift giving should be going on there? I give her a gift and she gives me a gift. No. You should be taking her out to eat to someplace fancy because she wants to spend quality time with you. This has to be bigger than just some small gift. So what she would appreciate more than getting a little gift from you would be to be able to spend time with you. You're getting this, right? Okay, you wanna do another uh, social skills training while we're here? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sometimes uh, husbands with autism think they know better as far as driving directions than their NT wife. <clears throat> so, in the case that your wife is driving and you're sitting over there in the passenger side, you may be tempted sometimes to tell her, you know, oh, you should have turned left back there, you should have turned right back there, or you're, you're taking the long way around, things like that. So, when she's driving, it's best not to be Mr. Einstein thinking that you are like Google Maps or something like that and have the shorter route. And so, hey, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you should have turned left back there. What do you mean I should have turned left back there? Well, if you'd have turned left back there on University Boulevard, that would have saved us a good three minutes. <laughs> Okay, another social skills training, all right? Sure. Okay, today we're gonna to practice recognizing facial expression because sometimes husbands with autism have a hard time reading facial cues and so they're not really sure what their wife is feeling based on how she looks. So we're gonna practice, okay? Okay, I'm gonna come up with some facial expressions and you're gonna guess what I'm feeling. You ready? Okay. Okay, here's the first one. Jaw pain. Jaw pain? Yeah. It looked like your jaw was cramping up on you. Like you're having a little spasm or something right there. No. That was anger. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That probably wasn't a good example. Uh, let me try this one. A jaw pain. Again. No. That was supposed to be the look of surprise. No. Okay, one more. Let me guess, you're going to say jaw pain. No, that's the look you get when you find out that your mother-in-law just died. Okay, time for another social skills training. Okay. A lot of times, husbands with autism will have a hard time comforting their wives 
when their wife needs some moral support or whatever. It's called empathy. Empathy, yeah, yeah. So we're going to practice providing some empathy in the form of words of encouragement or whatever. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to come up with an example, and then you're going to tell me what you could say to provide some empathy. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's say your wife says, Honey, I'm feeling really depressed today, and I'm not sure why. Now, what could you say to empathize with that? What I would say is you need to get in there to the refrigerator and get you a big bowl of Rocky Road ice cream because we had a whole gallon of it. It's sitting in there going to waste. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure she would want something along the lines of, Oh, honey, I'm sorry to hear that. Come here, let me give you a hug. Oh, okay. But is it okay to say that after I go get me a bowl of ice cream? Because I hate to just throw it out. It's about to hit its expiration date. 